Hey gang, it's your boy Platt, and today I thought I'd do a special little video. Uh, I will take you guys to Las Vegas' this new mega resort, that is Resort World uh, Casino. It is located where the old Stardust was. Uh, we are across the street from uh, the world uh, famous uh, Pepper Mill. I think you can see over my shoulder, uh, one of the great breakfast spots in town. Um, at the time of this taping, I'm taping this on July 1st, 2021. The hotel's been open about one week. The first week these casinos open is a zoo, so I decided to wait a week or so before I came here to check it out. Uh, let's go in and see uh, what Resort World has for us. All right, gang, uh, apparently one of the gags here in Resort World is their Rolls Royce collection. Uh, supposedly a gentleman named Mr. Fux, F-U-X, not cousin. Uh, apparently uh, he has a special Rolls Royce collection and somehow this raises money for the children because we're always doing stuff for the children. But anyway, throughout the casino, they have all these uh, high-end Rolls Royces around. Uh, so if you're a car nut, it is kind of a cool thing to check out here at Resort World. Getting a little quick background on this actual location uh, where Resort World is is on the old Stardust uh, footprint or land. Uh, originally the Stardust was demolished I believe 2006 as it happened just right after I moved to town. Um, the original plan at the time Stardust was uh, owned by Boyd uh, Gaming and their original plan was to uh, tear down the Stardust and rebuild it uh, into something that was going to be called Echelon. If you've ever been to the Borgata in New Jersey, it was going to be the sister property to that. Uh, unfortunately, by the time they demolished the Stardust, cleared everything off and was getting ready to do construction. I think they started on the parking garage of all things. Uh, that's when the recession hit. Boyd stopped the project. They never ended up hiring people. Um, at one time, I was a Boyd employee, and I remember the hope uh, when that uh, casino was supposed to open up, that that was where you would advance to. Uh, I was working downtown at the time. You wanted to get out downtown back then. Uh, so anyway, uh, I believe sometime around 2012, uh, 13, that kind of time range is when uh, this property changed hands uh, and Resort World, which is uh, a Ginty gaming uh, company, had originally planned on opening this years ago, but again, the recession and other things, uh, COVID obviously did not help, but uh, they just opened. Uh, and so, uh, like I said, this is the old Stardust. So let's uh, keep looking around and see what we can find. All right, gang, that's our uh, trip through Resort World. Uh, seemed like a really nice place. Um, they're apparently going after the 
win Venetian Bellagio crowd, uh, definitely on the higher end of the scale. Um, also more of a uh, East, East Asian theme, a lot of red you'll notice in a lot of uh, Asian themed restaurants. Um, again, the parent company is Genting Gaming and they're based in Asia, so uh, definitely catering to their crowd. Uh, this is definitely the biggest project on the strip since probably City Center has opened. Um, so uh, definitely something big, something new. Hopefully that means the town is headed in the right direction. So uh, if you make it to Las Vegas, check out Resort World. And until next time, bottoms up.